Hello, ladies, gents, and collectors of human flesh. We have returned to our wonderful wonderland in the mountains of madness, where nothing but wholesome events take place, such as digging and farming and going out on human hunting raids to butcher them for food. I love RimWorld and all the wholesome things that you can do in it. Everything is well and beautifully queued up. Just needs to happen. Come on, guys. Get to work. I uh, put a few choke points because eventually it's going to happen. Those damn infestations, they are available only for so long. We've just been really lucky. Uh, there was a comment saying, oh, the infestation, what's going on? It's just a matter of luck. You're, they're not guaranteed to happen. You may go years without an infestation. It's just the way sometimes it works out. What's going on? Okay, Meg's visions have stopped. All of all that darkness, the eyes in the corners, the red eyeballs just staring at her from the dark hallways. When I was a kid, I had this terrible problem too. I was exposed to Nightmare in Elm Street and I was deathly afraid. I was maybe six, seven years old. I, the result was I was deathly afraid of Freddy Krueger clear until my teens. Every night, if I needed to go that, down the hallway, I would imagine the claw just coming out of the darkness. It was a traumatic childhood, afraid of the dark until I exposed myself. I, I walked out there, stood in the dark, saying, there's nothing here. There's nothing. Stop being afraid. It did not work. I continue being afraid until I just kind of forgot about it. And that is what happened just now to Megan. Poor Meg was just having dark visions full of fear and apprehension. Ah, yes. Finally, we got a sweet, sweet research going on over there. How is our sculpture progress going on there? Break soul. Are you creating an incredible art piece for us? Or is it going to be another vomit with heroes? I look forward to the results. Why is there still an unroofed tile somewhere? I think it's just the mountain here as I dig into it. It just so happens to have unroofed tiles. And it's just a matter of keep keeping covering them up. It is really, really funky. I guess I'll just designate the whole thing. Just put roof over everything. And eventually that tile will be found, right? It is so weird. Let's continue all that. No, it's just this zone. This zone that is kind of shared. This big ass hallway. It's all the same zone. I just, I'll just say, hey, put roofs over, roofs over everything. Eventually, you'll find it. Oh, they found it. <laughs> there was a tile somewhere that didn't have a roof, and that's what what was uh, working there against me. Our camp fuel situation continues to deteriorate. That's fine, though. We got plenty of power to back it up. Unfortunately, though, these boomalobes need to get to fucking so we can get some more boomalobes. All right, Blargo and company are on their way. We'll have more delicious meat to cook. I really need to get around to this. This has been relegated to the background, this entire hydroponic project. But eventually it's going to happen. It's just, you know, a matter of priorities. How much steel do we have right now? We have only 387, but I did a schedule. I did schedule some mining operation somewhere. I think it was way out here. Yeah, there's there's Meg doing what she does. It smells kind of funky here, so she puts on that mask. Make sure that no farts from the elephants get anywhere near her face. Camera plus the mod. Uh, they have kind of like synergized with the new functionality in Anomaly and they have added like stuff like little markers like that. You can zoom out. Okay, there used to be, but not anymore. The silhouette. Oh yeah, there you go. The silhouette of the mechs. Now it's just not just the dot, but the silhouette. Bro, work frenzy and everything. That was about time we started to get some positive mood, uh, um, you know, buffs as opposed to the constant mental breaks that we've been suffering it's been atrocious break soul is this finally impressive yes you're at last in an impressive nice 
<laughs> environment. Didn't realize that the rambling debuffs people around it. <laughs> Megan was just rambling. The chickens, they keep pecking at my ankles. Oh, those red eyes are going to haunt me forever. And people just get disturbed. Let's see. Finally, we got Blargo and company coming in with all the good stuff. Mm -mm -mm. I was told. I believe it was El Catherine saying how things don't deteriorate in the pack. That doesn't make sense to me. I don't believe you. We're going to leave it in the pack. But that makes no sense for items not to deteriorate inside of the packs. I would believe stuff like blue fur, you know, the, the, the crafted items or crafting items, the human leather, stuff like this that will deteriorate on the outside. While they're inside the pack, they will not deteriorate. But there is no way meat doesn't spoil while it's in the in the elephant packs. I, I just do not believe that that can possibly be the case. It just would seem like a very, very easy exploit. Hey, the wife is on her way home. It seems like a, a really easy thing to exploit, so there's no way food is not spoiling inside the packs. I would certainly believe that stuff like components and things like that, they do not, they do not decay. That makes a lot of sense to me, so, you know. I look forward to finding one or another. I'm not going to touch whatever they have in their inventory. And I'm just going to let them do what they do. What are they even doing? Just hauling a bunch of steel. I guess they're going to haul it to the interim area right here because they have no access to the indoors. All right, let's just time, get some time forward. We have to start compacting machinery. Yeah, that because I went out to, to dig because I don't know if I realized during the episode or after the episode, but we have no components I managed just haul them, man. Come on. Don't be lazy. I managed... Look at all these components over here, too. Let's uh, mine them out. Uh, managed somehow to spend every single component. It's just that these right here, the sleep accelerators, they take five each. I was a little happy-go-lucky spending components. What's going on, Ragman? What is the... Gut? Holy crap, brother. These gut worms have been here since we freaking started. How is the infection, by the way? 56, immunity 55. This is not, this is, this ain't no joke, Blargo. How about you go to the hospital and you rest until healed? In the excellent bed. Rest until healed right there. And you'll have to get some treatment. Nah, just leave the gestator alone. Uh, this is not, this is nothing to be joking with. He's going to be taking good medicine. It seems like we need some more light in this place. It's, it's awfully dark. Freaking hospital environment needs to be super bright. Major break on T-Rose. What's her problem? She's just been outside for too long. Huh? Harmful aging. Ate non-cannibal food. How about you go, T-Rose, instead of being fixing a wall for some reason, how about you go and have some delicious raw human meat? This will set your spirits aflame. Looking forward to having you back in uh, good spirits. Blargo, I need to pay close attention, attention to what's going on here because it can be a real problem. Okay, his immunity is going up pretty nicely. Erica Dawson is also grumpy. What is your problem? Do you hear Meg rambling about the chinchillas? No, oh, you are the chemical starvation bastard that uh, is just constantly... With that problem. She does have a problem with her barracks though. Which means that the walls were not yet built. But it looks like it's all built already. Transport, transport pod crash. Duan? Hello Duan. You will be deaf in 13 hours. You are a pessimist psychopath. Gourmand? What a coincidence. We too are gourmands. Let me rescue you real quick. Did I say risk? I mean capture. All right, let's put you. Let's put you uh, in a safe space. I guess we could have born to crawl. Capture. There you go. That's a little bit closer, and he's in a very good mood. But to go out in the rain to capture some buffoon. Let's see, Fastman does that sweet treatment to Blargo. 
Camitena in point three hours. Do we have who's our best doctor here? Jesse Fassman, but you know the manipulation is absolutely atrocious. Evan Damas, he loves to uh, patch up Largo. Let's get him on over here because the treatment will be up very very soon. I'm not going to use the glitter world medicine, but ten. But the regular medicine should be plenty good. 100%. All right. He is good. He's, he'll be fine. He is going to remain in bed for the remainder of this infection, though. We're not going to take any chances. If Largo goes, the whole colony falls apart. This whole place is just held together by his incredible charisma. We cannot let him succumb to some random infection by, what was it, a fox? Some arrow? I don't know what happened. I forget all about it, but it was some silly nonsense that transpired that got him in this predicament. All this age reversal nonsense is annoying as hell. We do need the multi analyzer and then the bio. Re oh no, the bio sculpture. Bio sculpting can happen before the multi analyzer, but it's already halfway there. And we don't really have a room for for the bio regeneration cycle. It's pretty upsetting. There is this giant room over here. We can just have it right back here. Hopefully there will be no caves to be discovered back here. Let's get the bioregeneration lab all ready to go. Or maybe next to the mushrooms here. It has to be like a longish kind of room. Uh, it can be remote though, because that's the only purpose that I want it for. I do like having these halls for <laughs> the slaves. For the eventuality of slaves. We can definitely uh, finish up building this. Let's build something like that. This is like the, the big one. The big ass containment zone. Mind that out. We're going to reinstall this. Incredible beautiful urn in this corner. Wow. Or actually let me install it in the, in the, in the lab. Right next here is like a spittoon. For Clackack Bagby. For whenever he uh, gets sick of... Chewing his tobacco. Wow, Born to Crawl. You took forever to get this done. Holy crap. Why it took you so long to run out there? You're worthless. Um, build that up. And then we'll make our first containment unit here. This would be like the main thing. The super secure one. And then we'll make smaller ones. Um... Uh, all alongside here. Probably we won't need more than two or three, right? I have no idea the needs that Anomaly need, the, has. Where containment units are, con are concerned. Do you need more than three? More than four? Seventy? Are you doing Blargo? Immunity is skyrocketing. Perfect. Major infection, though. You can just heal. You can just uh, take it easy, actually. How about you work in this gestator? And then you can go back to bed. The theory went to nothing. <laughs> it's just... We got too uh, many colonists. It's hard to keep them all properly equipped. Anyway, I think this is a decent spot to do it. Let's... Uh, and we can, in fact, dig through here. And we're going to dig. And there will be... That is two... And they will be just lining the wall. Or rather, we could just make it square. Make it something like this. Uh, it's going to be one unit, two units, three units, four units, five. Then five and five is ten. And then there can be one row in the middle. And that will create almost 15. That's pretty good. Harbinger tree sprout. I have yet to see a reason to be excited about these. It's like they give you twisted meat. And they give you the whatever it's called. Is the, the iron ferrite, whatever the hell it's called. And I guess that's nice. But probably there's much better sources of that. What's the wildlife like? Something I didn't realize is like, hey, maybe, you know, you can just tame these. You can tame these, and I am sure that effing <laughs> Damas won't go out there to tame these Boomalopes. 
Duan. That's right. Nobody's paying attention to this idiot. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Because Evan Damas, what are you up to? Being a simple meal to Duan, huh? How about what you can do? First, you can tend them. No medicine. Oh, he is tended. All right, all right. Somebody did take care of that. But what you can do is uh, surgery. Oh, this is new. Surgical inspection. Tell me what this is. An invasive surgery to find any hidden abnormalities. Could there be... We gotta do it. Duan's medical restriction. Dr. Kiba, no medicine prevents this. Oh, okay. Okay, let me just... Uh... Who knows? I mean, it, is, it was a pod crash. But what if it is an anomaly pod crash? F and Damis, shove your knife in there and make sure this is not some kind of weird abomination ready to eat this colony from the inside out. Just cut him open, look for twisted organs, look for eyeballs staring you back inside the spleen, look for seven buttholes, anything that can be suspicious. Evan Damas performed an extensive surgical inspection of Duan. He says that he found no anomalies. However, a doctor may lie if it isn't their own, their own self-interest. Jeez, what the hell? Evan Damas. You're a trustworthy fella. Surgical cut in the heart. Jeebus. All right, how about we just eat you real good? There you are. Uh, where are you going? Why, why are you using medicine to euthanize somebody? They're going to die anyway. Anyway, just... Uh, it'll make the flesh taste better, so it's all good. It's fine. All right, now he's dead. We can... Get him to the freezer. He will be eventually cooked into delicious meals. I love the, when my food falls out from the sky. It is so great. What are the muffalo meat? And there's still dead people in there. Maybe we can see an expire scene X time. No? Deteriorating rate, one per day, but it doesn't tell you how, when it will be. Completely de deteriorated. A hey, proximity detector has been research. There was a dude that wanted some void provocation, right? Let's go for that next. All right. Anomaly. Proximity detector. 15 bio, bio ferrite and one component. Really? This is the range? That's ass. <laughs> it's nothing. This doesn't help me at all. I guess you have to... Does it take um, electricity? It probably does, right? Let's plunk one down right here. Let's see if we need to run uh, cables to it. Probably, right? Usually this kind of stuff needs power consumption 75. So yeah, you do need uh, wires to be run to it, which sucks ass. It is annoying as hell. Hmm... But we need some kind of perimeter. So I guess we'll just be running wires to it. I've been wondering, should I have a freaking windmill? Not windmill, but water mill. And it's like, it is so exposed. There's no real way to defend it unless I want to build a wall around it. And that feels pretty lame. Anyway, this is a decent spot. I don't even know how much bioferrite I have. Let's put it in the corners here. And we'll have to run a freaking power line to it. Pretty damn stupid. But you know, enemies don't... I don't think they target... I don't think they target power lines, you know? So, it should be a uh, build it and forget it. We don't need to defend it. Medical emergency embargo. But he'll be fine, right? We made sure that this immunity will build up to uh, an appropriate appropriate level indeed. How much bioferrite do I have stored? There is only 50. Oh, man. This, it's pretty scarce resource, huh? Only how you get more of that other than cutting down these trees. 
I really should have put in here entity corpses. Just entity corpses. I think that makes a lot of sense when I should have put a bunch of them. Let's give him like preferred. When another pile of sight stealers comes around, we'll uh, put them over there to feed the trees. Very disturbing. Yeah, there's not enough bioferrite to go around for these silly uh, proximity detectors. Well, at the very least, I can do a power conduit. Let's hide it. Let's do it through the outside. I really don't want it to go through the, the field. That's a bad idea. So let's run it out like that. Successfully tamed a boomalope. Well done, well done, Erica Dawson. I am sure that they will not turn around and kill us all. Let me build these like so. Well, this is silly. I hate that it is running through the mushrooms. If there's a zit event, it will just set my mushrooms on fire. We should be mine this out. This will make uh, a roof collapse, will it? Mind those two out. Get some time going forward. Boomal obtained. Effing Damas is out there with the elephants. Don't worry about it. There's a 0% chance. 0% chance that these boomalopes are going to be uh, turning around and trying to bite my head off. Not a big deal. Our roof has collapsed. I, I knew that <laughs> I would pay dearly. Foolishness. Absolute foolishness. Let me just create a freaking column. Granite column right in the middle. <laughs> a whole tile is being wasted. Hey, banana. Banana tamed another envelope. Zone. Build roof. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Power. In power conduit so it doesn't run it doesn't run through the through the mushrooms there you go um is everything it seems like every task has been all the stuff that we queued up is done somehow i have found myself let's put uh, this in the corner somehow i found myself what is this art canvas item Without any outstanding orders. This piece bears an image of a thousand fields of ash-covered plants with no life in sight. Kamba sits nearby, visibly exhausted by the ordeal. The style is neoclassical, with a hyper-realistic element. Though few would respect it, there is a miller to the left of the main scene. A very, very, very boring piece of art, fella. Not impressed in the slightest. Can't even find anything to poke fun at. It is just boring <laughs> what a what a boring ass piece of art shame on you and your artistic and on your artistic vision now it is time to sew because these are grown almost 50 percent we got a nice rotation right there gorgeous stuff all right everything's ventilated everything's looking great great stuff i guess it is time to get some floors all over these places. I guess we could also dig out the walls and all, but let's use up all this sandstone. There you go. Use up all the sandstone. Whoopla. Gorgeous. And there will be, uh, we will us unsuspend the creation of blocks. Well, we still have so many in storage. 2,700 and 1,600 granite. So, you know, plenty of, of those to run through. You know, the, setting them down is not like it reduces my wealth. In fact, it increases it because it creates beauty on top of having the materials. But it makes everybody smile. So, you know, I'm all about those cannibal smiles full of blood and the flesh of my enemies. I'm very happy that that's taking place. 
Is there a reason to do anything here? I don't think we want to build anything just yet. We don't have the good technology for it. I would love to be able to make eyeballs. We are so bereft of eyeballs, it weirds me out. Let's create some doors, like so. This will be a gorgeous space for everybody get to get their age reversal on. Well, they'll finally stop whining about it. How about you get around to all of these smoothings? Probably shouldn't have put down the the all the floors and realize that the indeed these tasks were not complete yet but that's fine do we have a mech yet it takes forever man to gestate these things probably because i have a very low very low level like atrina and crack like that they're going oh wow a, a squirrel self-tamed how propitious banana don't fail me don't get attacked by the movalopes well done well done more chem fuel generators. Another one tame. Man, this is these, these are just taming machines. The wildlife will constantly bend to my will. More compact machinery. Ability available. Our chem fuel is actually starting to break ahead. Mm -mm -mm. Looking great. So what is it? I need to, you know, not lose sight of what else do we need to do? Let's start creating some holding platforms here. Shh. Is it in your best interest to have two in the same area? Probably not, right? Wonder if it's perfectly safe to do that. I'm gonna do it. I don't know if it's safe to do it, but I'm gonna do it. This only requires components and steel I assume you have to do it like this kind of funky it seems to me like you need more space let's just create one let's create one holding space right here, like so the yeah, device that emits especially two negative electromagnetic field which numbs the neural activity of capture entity as long as it is powered it improves the containment strength of any holding platform that is pointed at the electric field does not affect humans or normal animals so i wonder if i can affect two i don't think you can but you can probably stack them right you you put like three of them like so either way we're going to put one there shard inhibitor a shard of dark technology that resonates with psychic energy increasing the containment strength of any holding platform or spot within its radius the effect does not stack the effect of of several of these or the effect of every other inhibitor and this one probably just of these either way we're going to spend one shard to put one right there this is like the maximum security unit right here Everything else is going to have just shitty-ass ropes. We saw that it's perfectly adequate to contain the pathetic sight stealers. Don't see why not. It won't be uh, adequate to contain everything else. But anyway, let's put a steel door right there. We're going to make some more granite. Like so. Anomaly. And we're going to put another... Like this one will be a much lower tier. Much lower tier. Of containment cell. Let's put it centered. It must be centered. Cancel that. Cancel all these. Build a copy like so. It's just a room with an entity. Let's create some lights. Wonder if they need to be lighted. Wonder if it matters. Either way, we're going to put light on all of them. It just seems correct to put good lighting so that the monsters do not lurk seems uh, reasonable to me let me take a close look at all the things that we can build here because i feel like i'm neglecting making things maybe in just flak helmet look at the crap that some of our people are wearing they're wearing a freaking russian hat and a gas mask and absolutely nothing for colt shaw at the very least people should be wearing Simple flak helmets. What do you need for these? 
40 metal, 10 plasteel, two components. Just do it until you have one and in the inventory. And I want only Brixel and Fathead Nerd to craft these 10 and above. Just make them of whatever you need to make them. It don't matter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing that I had a big priority in my head. Install the enhancements that we have hoarded all this time. They're somewhere in here. Don't don't ask me <laughs> where the icons at. But who wants? Let's see. Oh, by the way, we can go back to no medicine. Who wants? I don't know. That we have them. Remove bionic stomach. But we also had we have a bionic stomach, and we also had a thing. A different thing. Oh, you can search now, right? I forget how to search. There was a way to search inventory. Oh, there it is. Aha! Uh -huh. How do you even search? Shit. Enhancement? Mm, no component. Uh, what is this called? What is the... the the category of this. Hmm. Implant. Implant. Hmm. It's not that sophisticated, is it? Well, the search function doesn't work if I don't know what I'm searching for. <laughs> there was some other enhancement. It was like an immune enhancement or something. Maybe Ragman. Install, administer, install by an stomach. I know that we had one. Maybe we lost it at some point. I'll believe that. Anyway, who wants a bionic stomach? I guess we can just give it to somebody that is like, Oh, I don't have any enhancement. Being a big ass whiny bitch. Uh, Banana can use one. Brixel could use one. And he's always so freaking sad, right? Soaking away North artificial enhancement. Let's give it to Brixel. He's a great member of this colony. Let's install that bionic stomach. And of course we want to use just regular medicine. We'll be fine. He'll be fine. Brixel. Although Jesse Fassman is always bitching. Always bitching. Ravenously hungry. Maybe eat the meal, you absolute buffoon. Brixel, stop crafting whatever the hell you're crafting. Go over there. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, you got gut worms. Quite the horrible, horrible fate. Where is Blargo? I want you to come over here. Perform operation. Man, he's happy. Jesse Fassman, I was just talking about you and how freaking worthless you are. Okay, give me this operation done. Blargo, do not fail me. We finally have a very nice hospital. It's slightly dirty. A hey, very nice. Brixel now has a bionic stomach. One more enhancement toward Gorehawk Assault? Hey, I'm back. It's actually one day after because the wife came home and playtime was over. So anyway, let's see what a Gore Hulk looks like. A group of monstrous human-like abominations are attacking. Should I just call them mothers-in-law? Their bodies are ravaged by thick keratin spines, which they can launch at a distance. However, their fleshy forms can do little damage at close range. Checks out. Checks out indeed. I mean, just change the name. Change the name Mother-in-Law and that will be just perfect. Hello, you disgusting group of abominations. Apparently they launch spines. 63 of them. Let's hope they don't look they are not as tough as they look. They say that they can't do a whole lot of physical damage, so you definitely want to fight them at a choke point. So probably bring everybody out, open this up, and just fight them right here. Right in this little room right there. Everybody just just uh hold up in there. Seems to me like it's the, the appropriate course of action or 
I don't know if I want to let them come all the way around and we can fight them in this choke point. The problem with this one is that there's a bunch of stuff in the middle that they might want to attack. And, you know, the, there is Jesse Fastman just casually senile <laughs> in the middle of the field. That makes the difference in my in my evaluation of the of the situation. Every, Brixel is down? Oh, because he has a, a new stomach. All right, everybody. We're going to handle this proactively. Everybody get drafted into the army. Everybody comes out. Right out there. Apparently there's two... Oh, yeah, of course. Meg and Born to Crawl. They're digging through all that steel. All right, buddies. Let's come out all the way over here. We do need to haul this out. We're going to quickly put a three tile dumping zone, storage, critical, and uh, whoever gets here first, we're going to tell them to, to hold that right there. Hopefully the, ele the elephants are going to do it, aren't they? No, they are drafted. And by the way, are they new research available? I was like, oh, a new event. What the hell's going on? It's fine. It's fine. Just research available. Hmm. I don't want the Flatner and Leatherface to be fighting just yet. They are too young, too green, too vulnerable. So just let them be. How fast? They're way faster than anticipated. They look so fast, so fat and worthless. I was like, ah, we have plenty of time. No, no, no. Holy crap. These people, these things, these worthless garbage creatures are fast as hell. Let's get Blargo to open up these doors right now hopefully they'll turn around hopefully the the pathfinding doesn't just lead them all the way over there probably they, they're not gonna turn around let me uh, hold this open and hold this open and uh hold that and then hold this and then hold that blargo get it done are they turning around no they are not Maybe we can provoke them with a few shots. Maybe somebody can catch up. Who is our... We should have somebody with a lance. But he hasn't come, gone here yet. Maybe... Uh, I mean, the charge rifle. Banana does have the legendary. That's a pretty decent range. How about Blargo? Less range. I don't know if I want to risk Banana going out there. I wonder what kind of range they got. Probably should tell me if I hover. <coughs> If I hover over the weapon, no, they, they really don't have a weapon. Probably simply because we have not, we have not uh, dealt with them. So my information is incomplete. Maybe there's a say something about range around here, melee, melee DPS, melee penetration, containment, blah blah blah. It doesn't seem to have anything about the weapon that they use. Maybe it will once we have an inspection going on. I don't know if I want to send just one person out there. I feel like that would be a bad idea. So we can just try and chase them down. And hopefully my elephants... That does uh, mean we want to leave... Let's see. All the people with elephants. It would be... Banana, Grave Digger, Effing Damas. But Grave Digger doesn't have anybody assigned. So it will be just... Banana, Blargo, and Effing Damas. Blargo, Banana, Effing Damas... Everybody stay behind. The rest go out there. See if you can provoke. Oh! Are they all turning around? It would be great to actually split them. Or would it be great? It's like the the worst the worst situation, right? If they split. Because they're going to flank me and come on the back. So we'll just hold our, ourselves in here and... Uh, Jesse Fassman will just have to you know, take a spine to the cranium. <laughs> Maybe we'll fix her dementia. All right, well, that's that's what we get. That's how we're going to play it. Perhaps uh, not the best scenario. But let's use this choke point. I don't want to meet them out in the open. I think that would be a terrible idea. Cold Shaw, go in there. And I want to leave these guys behind for the elephants. The elephants will charge once everything is close. All right, let's set up everybody in uh, attack formation. 
Ragman, you, you probably should even sit this one out. Although if you blind them, that'll be helpful. So maybe put yourself right there. So like Katrina right there. T-Rose with her legendary weapon. Everybody needs to be in uh, proper position. Crack like Barbie can take a few shots with her, her, uh, his incredible, amazing ability of having a, a power armor. That's in a, a shield. Maybe go over here. Have Meg at the front line. Are they coming? They're coming. Ragman. Ooh, I do have an orbital orbital bombardment. Uh, Tarrier, I may use it just for the sake of seeing what happens. Anyway, anyway, we'll be okay. We'll be okay, hopefully. Hike, I guess you can get close. Let's see, uh, those spines starting... Holy crap! That's a pretty long range. Not fond of it. They suck pretty hard ass, though. <laughs> They're terrible at shooting. We can actually do a blinding pulse right there. I feel like maybe just shoot out the, the elephants. Man, they, did they all turn around? No, they, not all of them, but some of them did. I am mostly just flustered about the level of threat that we're facing. I just don't know what kind of terrible threat we're facing. We can probably even use one of our shields to prevent terrible things from, from happening. But clearly, we want... To provoke them to come closer. So let's see if we can maybe put everybody outside of the the line of sight. Are they shooting at Meg? Hey, they're coming. There they're coming. Get banana in there. Give the marksman uh, command. Okay, mother-in-law is going to get absolutely pin-cushioned. <laughs> that's a, the unfortunate thing about elephants. It's the unfortunate thing, unfortunate thing about elephants. You cannot tell them, hey, maybe hold back a little bit. They're just going to get pin-cushioned pretty hard. It's just the way that it's gonna be. We can now move everybody back into shooting positions. Crack like that really should be at the front with the... Holy crap. <laughs> with the uh, 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 personal shield. Oh man, like Katrina's getting pretty roughed up. Blargors really should not be in the front lines here. Just pulling back. How bad is mother-in-law? Wow, wow. Those spines are dangerous. Are they all these just sitting back shooting at me? They destroyed one of the walls. I think it's time to just charge out or maybe even use... Yeah, I think I completely botched it. So what we're going to do is select one of you fellas. I know one of you. I hate to use it, but I feel like I have destroyed my options completely we gotta do one of these the plow shield line up shoot them if we want to save mother-in-law this is what needs to happen all right now there's the shooting range get absolutely destroyed unfortunately about those elephants maybe we can have blargo and banana and then I can come back here and if in Damas. Maybe they'll pull back. Maybe and redraft them so that way they get followed. There is a chance we can save our poor <laughs> is poor Jesse Fassman down. Oh, that just happened to wander away from, from the assault. Uh, that's what's gonna happen. Blargo, F and Damas, and Banana. Actually, Banana is gonna take me hands to continue buffing everybody's, but. Uh, Blargo and Effendamas are going to go over there and have the elephants charge these scumbags. That is way more than I was hoping. That is far more. The number is very, very intimidating. Meg can also come. 
anybody that is melee can come with me. Crack like Bagby. I am concerned. Man, like Katrina got pretty wrecked. A few stabs there. How what's the timer on our shield? Wish I could select it a little bit more easier. Bernard low shield. Only 13 13 seconds is plenty. Wonder what's their range. Seems to be like kind of medium range, a little bit further than a shotgun. Oh, we can shoot these people down pretty easy. Let's put Meg at the front and crack like back. We get those shields absorbing some damage. This situation should be solved. Okay, so their range is pretty decent. Holy crap, look at all these. They destroy my freaking uh, detector, scum lords. Somehow Jessie Fassman, she just knew. She was like, had a sixth sense inside of her madness. She was like, I need to flee. I need to get out of here. They're not going to attack my boomalooms, are they? No, they're just coming that way. That is a, a, a very intimidating number. <laughs> 18 Gorehawks. Okay, it seems like most of these are dead. Ragman, how about you come over here? Banana can come over here. Oh, we're still getting shot at. What an annoyance. Yeah, there's actually quite a few still. And the shield has burnt out. I feel like it burnt out ahead of time. Probably because of all the attacks, maybe. But there's only... What is it? Five that are still alive? Yeah, five are still alive. Like Katrina. Just hang back. Everybody else... And move forward. Just line up. What's the worst that can happen? A few spines. You'll, they'll just build character for you. These guys are coming though. Crack like that. With never a bad time to insult somebody. Just, just effing them as attitude. He, he just doesn't have the proper attitude to face this threat. He is always preaching. Always telling people to get nude for no reason. Always inappropriate. Holy crap. <laughs> Alright. Unleash. Unleash the animals. Unleash the animals right now. Uh, let's blind them. Oh, they're actually really psychically sensitive. That's really good to know. Oof, crack like Vagra's shield has been disabled. Uh, they said... That they're awful at melee? Let's put that to the test. With Hike just jumping in the middle of the fray. Cold Shaw has been... Yeah, bruised a little bit. A few wounds right there. Pretty damn annoying to be dealing with this scum lord behind the cover. Off goes... Uh, why, why is Dustmaster here? Off goes Hike, just to clobber some heads. Her favorite activity in the world. Okay, everybody. Time to charge. Time to settle for subtlety is over. Let's line up the shooters so the friendly fire is minimized. Let's continue with those blinding pulses. wonder how long they last. I've never checked the length of the debuff. Hike, just getting in there, just... Bashing heads! How dare you! Alright, another one down. <laughs> she has no patience for these buffoons! Holy crap. Why are they even coming close? Crack like that, but just cut him down! Are we done here? Yeah, we're done. Alright, everybody. Uh, line up like so. Like Katrina, I am a little concerned for your health, but you'll be okay. T-Rose was sitting this one out without even realizing it. Four hours on mother-in-law. Is she any good with medical? Six in medical is 100% good enough. Ten to mother-in-law, T-Rose. You were just guarding that elephant. All right, we're going to absolutely murder these scum lords. Where you come from, though, you piece of trash? 
get murdered. Crack like that, we're getting assaulted. Blind this one. Like Katrina, it is your... It is your objective to put down this monster. Hike is chasing them down. She will not be dissuaded from clobbering some heads. Okay, another one down. Very nice. They, they really don't take a whole lot of punishment. It's just the sheer number of them was absolutely insane. Oh yeah, another one down. Uh, is this guy... How, how many are still up? It's hard to tell how many are still up. Seems like 11 are alive, but there's like half of them downed. Because, you know, the, their body is so blobby. You can't tell whether they are down or they are uh, just standing up. I don't see any other alive here. The Gore Hulk dropped a shard? It's a piece of garbage. So shooting at me, alright. Another one down. Hike. Getting real busy. Durst! <laughs> Love it. Oh, come on. The friendly fire is so annoying. Um, but we're pretty much done, looks like. This threat shall soon be put down. Thunk. Come on, just put it down. No one done. All right. I think we're good. Let's not undraft T-Rose because she's in the middle of treating. Did our containment unit get finished? It did not. But it's okay. We can just put a, a few ropes down for the time being. At least one of these will survive, right? And we'll analyze the crap out of them. All right, let's take stock of how terrible that was. Our colonists are doing fine, I think. Only a couple... A couple one shots here. The the worst that is wounded is La Catrina, but the elephants got pretty wrecked. Oof, Tossmaster too, pretty uh, damaged. Ruffle Stomp, he'll be fine. Murder Thrust will be fine, and uh, T Rose is taking care of mother in law, who is uh, you know a little touch and go there. Look at all these. Look at all this kibble. Let me allow, no, not tame, allow all this. And I would like a bunch of them to be put here to feed the trees. But not all of them. I would like a little bit of twisted meat. I wish that there was a way to like split it, you know, like I'm sure there's a mod out there to just select, like let's say this blob of corpses and you say, okay, these... You put them in the freezer and we are going to harvest them. The rest go to this dead zone. It is pretty uh, frustrating when you want to do half and half. Either way, that was a horrible massacre. <laughs> that was horrifying monsters. Jeebus. Dead body of a gore hawk. Amazing. Okay, T Rose is going to fix up that poor elephant. We're going to fix up and deal with the aftermath in the next episode.